this Saturday indeed. The location is London. The event is at the O2 Indigo and it's imminent. Yes, watch out for it. Muay Thai Grand Prix number five. We're very, very excited about it and you saw how good it actually looks right there. You've got the big names, you've got the seasoned pros, you've even got the up and coming uh, fighters as well in the lineup. So it's proving and the prospect is looking very, very mouthwatering indeed. I hope you're ready. I hope you're set for it. It is going to be absolutely amazing with only just a few days left just around the corner. Muay Thai Grand Prix. Wow, it's finally here. Uh, and talking of uh, it's finally here, Matt Duran is also finally here with us as well in the studio. How are you? Matt, I mean, what an opening that was. What would you say to that? Oh, fantastic. That trailer show, it says it all. Um, for me, I've been waiting so long for this event. Last sort of six, seven weeks, I've been counting the days like a little boy leading up to Christmas. Can't wait for it. Um, can't wait for, for all the fights, but yeah. not, you know, especially there's two or three there that we all know are going to be, you know, astounding fights and big names, and yeah, it's really, really, really looking Talking forward to it. Talking of the big names, uh, John Wayne Parr is obviously the big draw, the main event, and he's fighting the um, uh, the Greek Caponis. Uh, Caponis, yeah. So that's going to be the huge, huge draw indeed. Yeah. Lots of excitement yeah. regarding that, isn't there? And uh, and the legend that is, I mean, he's come all the way from uh, America, Line Fight Series, and he's he's an Aussie, obviously. But uh, yeah. Well, he's fought on, as we said before, previous shows. He's fought, uh, you know, everyone all around the world. He's fought in Thailand, Japan. He's fought on all the big shows. Um, he's ten times world champion. Um, he is a living legend. The people in the toy, Muay Thai community are, are buzzing about this. You know, all over the internet, people are talking about him coming to London. And what a great privilege for Muay Thai fans yeah. to go to their local, um, you know, event at the O2 to mm. see someone of that calibre that's, that, you know, he, he's put Muay Thai on the map in more ways than one because he's such a lovely guy. He comes across really nice. He, he's got a fantastic um, bit of banter about his personality. And, you know, he's, he's a prolific fighter yeah. and um, everyone's just everyone can't wait to see him fight you know, he's even just... doing a fair few seminars in London as well so he he's is. not just here just for the gig but he's spending a lot of time you know within his uh, forum as it were you know within the community as it were and really teaching the the, uh, the, the new yeah, blood that's I'm not sure how long he's here for I know he arrived on Monday and um, you know, I'm sure he's got a, you know a, a, an easy week this week leading up to his, his his big fight, and then after that, I think he's staying and doing a few seminars. Um, so you know, definitely look online, and if if you're interested in going to a seminar, get yourself along there because I'll, for one, I'm going to be trying to get along to see to see some myself. Yeah. Uh, now uh, we do have a, a little bit of a clip regarding John Wayne Parr, but also his opponent. Uh, Kapanis as well, so uh, uh, there's a bit of a story behind Kapanis as well, isn't there? Well, Kapanis obviously is um, a partner of, of MTGP. He, they, he, he promotes MTGP in Athens, so um, and they've just had a massive show out there in Athens, which was a great success. Um, some British fighters have gone out there and done really, really well. Um, and um, now he's coming over to the UK to fight on the MTGP London show. Um, and um, it's, you know, it's going to be a fantastic event. I mean, yeah, I don't know much about his. I've, I've seen a few of his fights. Mm. He looks strong. He looks strong. He's he, got a, he got a massive right hand. Yeah. I mean, you can see in that clip at the beginning, the guy's got some strength. And he on used, him. likes to use his elbow as well. So let's just uh, take a look at uh, Kapanis in action.
John Wayne Parr versus Kakonis this Saturday. Wow, that does look pretty impressive. And he does look strong as well, doesn't he, Matt? I mean, uh, there's going to be a, a tough contest. Well, he looks very strong. He's coming forward in those clips you can see all the yeah. time. He's got a massive right hand on him. He likes to kick, low mm. kicks as well. A um, few sp spinning back elbows. I mean, the guy sent, looks like a machine. He comes yeah. forward, he's strong. Um, JWP as well, you, you know, you've seen some of his fights yeah. and he comes forward, um, doesn't hold back. The, you know, not really what I would call a counter fighter. No. Ni neither of these guys, by the look of them, these guys look like they want to dictate yeah. the, the fight. So, um, you know, you can't always have two fighters dictating. So we'll see on Saturday who's going to who's going to dictate who's going to who's going to come out on top. Exactly. Yeah. So it looks quite evenly matched. They're both aggressive. They're both forward uh, thinkers. They're both very uh, attacking. Uh, fighters as well. So, can you call it even? I mean, it, well, you, your heart's got to say and your head's got to say, yeah. John Wayne Parr, yeah. from what he's done. But in the day, it's a fight. Yeah. You know, it's a fight. One punch, one elbow. Mm. It's his full tie rules fights. It's his elbows. Yeah. You know, we've seen in previous MTGP shows how a fighter can be winning mm. and then lose in you know a matter of one second Absolutely. because an elbow comes in and, yeah. and, and, and finishes him. And a big cut that can end the day. So um, who knows? I, I, I personally think John Wayne Parr's gonna gonna come with on his top. experience and um, yeah, with 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 the with the whole kind of the event as it were. You know, it's building up to this, and he's the main draw. But and uh, yeah, but not taking nothing away from Caponis. You know, he looks like a great contender. Mm. You know, I cannot wait. Yeah, it looks awesome. I can't wait. I'm really just, good I'm stuff. Buzzing. I mean, we we could spend the whole show just talking about these two guys <laughs> yeah. and just just analysing and dissecting everything. Mm. But we've got to move on. Uh, and uh, we've got, well, uh, we've got an, another one of your, your favourites, actually. Well, don't tell him that. I know. Uh, <laughs> I keep saying that every yeah. week as well. I uh, should just stop that, really, shouldn't I? Charlie Peters is one of my favourite fighters, mm -hmm. um, partly because, you know, he's a good friend of mine. Um, I've known him from, from, from training um, at, at Double K. Yeah. Um, but he is really a Thai fighter's dream you know he fights very Thai style he's a very technical fighter very precise on the he doesn't throw punches and kicks for the sake of throwing them right um and you know in previous fights you know he, he can be more of a counter puncher i mean but the thing with him also is he can come forward mm. he can come forward and strike and control a fight but looking at his opponent, Trujillo... That's what I was going to um, say, <laughs> yeah. He is looking very, very dangerous. And he Well, he beat UK's number one, uh, McAllister, McAllister, a while yeah. ago. And he With a swinging... I think it was a knockout elbow. Yeah. I think that, that uh, poster that we saw, that's what... The elbow's all about, yeah, I well, think. Well, this know? is it. I mean, as Caponis in the previous fight, you, I've seen Trujillo throwing in these spinning back elbows and, um, and, and all sorts of, you know, fancy footwork he's got. Um, so, you know, it's going to be no, no, by, by no means an easy fight no. for, for Charlie. But, you know, my heart says and the head say that Charlie Peters will, will come on top. Um, and, and defend his title and, and win this fight. But he's not going to have it all his own way. This Trujillo looks dangerous. Very much. And um, again, you know, one punch or an elbow can, 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 can change the game. Very evenly matched uh, pair up, it does seem to be like. Uh, now, moving on to Matthew Chu versus uh, Vidal. Uh, that's another big draw, isn't it? So, Vidal from Shoothorn Jim in uh, Tenerife. Um, and uh, obviously, Chu from Team Chu. Um, you know, um, I think it's a 58 kilo uh, fight. So very fast fighters, you know, they throw in kicks and punches. These fighters, you know, it's bantam, bantam weight bout. Um, you know, they're very quick and, and, and feisty, feisty, you know, fighters. They're very, yeah. very fast, good footwork, both of them. Team Chu produces such good technical fighters. Yeah. They always seem so relaxed and very Thai style sort of fighters. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, so, and, and Matthew Chu, obviously, you know, big part of that. Um, so, you know, I'm really looking forward to this. Kevin, Kevin Vidal, I don't know so much about, but um, it comes from a good gym. And um, he looks looks a handful, you know. He looks it looks a bit more of a fight that comes forward. Um, uh, Matthew Chu looks like a lad that you know. Obviously, we know what he can do, but he you know he can either counter or come forward. Um, and it'd be interesting, interesting to see what happens. Let's see. Very much so. We've got so many more pair ups and match ups to talk about in the second part of the show. Uh, namely, we've got Evan Jays, obviously just still 16 uh, year old kid as well. And uh, we've got a few of the um, female fighters as well. 
Uh, we've got uh, Bernice. Bernice Aladis. Yeah, yeah, to talk about as well. Uh, that looks very, very good indeed. That's yeah. a mouth-watering fight indeed. That's coming up uh, later on as well. We'll talk about it. And we've got a nice little surprise as well regarding Bernice uh, Aldis as well. So uh, do stay uh, with us. Uh, don't you go anywhere because there's lots to talk about. Uh, it's uh, Muay Thai Grand Prix 5 at the London O2 this weekend. It's an exciting prospect. If you're a mildly enthusiastic or you're a huge fan, you cannot miss it. It's going to be the event of the year, event of the summer, certainly. Don't go away. We'll be right back. <laughs> 